What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here on this Sunday evening, February 20th, 2022. It's the date about 6.02 p.m. California. Uh, California time here, the West Coast. Latest quake, a 4.6 earthquake. Out here around the Japan region, we have seen a pretty good swarm of movement in this area of the Pacific Plate over the last few hours or so throughout the day today. Let's go ahead and check out that movement uh, taking place there in the Japan area on the latest map here from the USGS showing that uh, earthquake activity just to the east coast here of the Japan region northeast of Tokyo a little distance but some of this activity striking out here today pretty deep at a 4.5 uh, way down here in this uh, Kumano Ridge pretty uh, deep subduction zone quake at 342 kilometers the most recent quake here at uh, 48 kilometers for a 4.6, like I said, just off the east coast there of Japan. And uh, still watching this region up here along the Kurokamachaka Trench and the Japan Trench here for subsequent larger movement. It's going to happen one of these days. It's uh, been all too quiet in this area for, uh, for quite a while. Looking at the area west of the Philippine Plate, Showing some movement, of course, around the Philippines today. We did have some activity ramp up here. Uh, I believe they had a... Uh, oh, looks like they may have just downgraded this thing. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, 5.6 uh, earlier. Originally came in as a 6.1 on the EMSC model, the European Earthquake Agency, USGS, downgrading that to a 5.6. But since then, definitely got a swarm of activity. Quite a few 4s and 5s kicking up here within the region just around the uh, just south of the Philippines area looking at uh, historical data within the Philippine Trench it's a major player when it comes to producing well not only a lot of earthquakes but we get some deep ones and we get some large ones in there as well looking at the uh, key here showing the circle uh, radius get uh, some six to sevens I'm sure some uh, even seven magnitudes or greater within this Philippine Trench area and there's been a bunch of them since about 1900 or so. Uh, so we've got to watch this area pretty closely with that ongoing swarming activity there around the Philippines. Uh, whenever we see movement like this in the in the four to five range with really no main quake, uh, we've got to got to watch this pretty closely. Also, a little movement up here, uh, right smack dab on the trench, a 4.7. That uh, earthquake, uh, I believe, is a little bit older. Uh, then the recent movement down south here so overall general seismic activity pressure uh, on the increase around the Philippines down south around the uh, just to the northeast of the Banda Sea 4.7 in the Indonesia area also a little bit of activity to the southwest here with the 4.5 uh, overall general seismic activity today has been mostly confined to this region of the world although we have seen some further activity uh, down through the uh, Solomon Islands area with a 5.2 actually just outside of Papua New Guinea it looks like at 10 kilometers and a little bit more uh, shallower earthquake or a uh, uh, smaller earthquake I should say at 4.8 uh, New Zealand uh, what's going on out here some deep movement taking place not that one but this one right here check this guy out 4.5 at 186 kilometers anyone know what's out here the Hikarangi subduction zone and of course further inland that you get the deeper it goes right so this is not at the surface but down into this major subduction zone called the Hikarangi subduction zone it's a interesting little region of built up pressure gotta watch this pretty closely because this can produce a major earthquake and there's not a whole lot of sufficient historical data on this far as when the last major rupture of this zone happened so uh, watch that area pretty closely. We we'll start seeing some sub subduction zone quakes. It's time to take it note. Over here around South America, we have seen a little increase in movement as well in the subduction zone of the Peru Chile Trench with a couple fours and a 5.1. Uh, the 4.2 down there at 140 kilometers or so inland, but down dip into that subduction zone. Uh, looking at the South Sandwich Trench areas of the Atlantic all clear throughout the north central and south atlantic ocean uh, movement up into the middle america trench just off the coast 
of the Costa Rica area, seeing a uh, 4.6 earlier. Since then, a little bit of movement down south of the Cocos Ridge, it looks like. And uh, just outside of the Guatemala Basin, some movement up here into the Colombia area with a pretty deep earthquake here, 4.3 at 150 kilometers. Puerto Rico Trench and the Puerto Rico area all looks about the same, although we're seeing a little die down of movement here. Let me uh, check the all magnitude, see if that is the case in these as well. It is. Uh, activity kind of dying out in this region. We have seen this thing really pop off here over the last seven days with, uh, well, you can see it, a whole bunch of earthquakes there all on the southwest area of Puerto Rico. These swarms come and go. Um, and there's uh, there's definitely a bunch of them over the last week. Things calming down, though, uh, in this area temporarily uh, along the Puerto Rico region. Uh, what do we got up here in the North American uh, uh, continent? States, not a whole lot going on in the eastern part of the country. Oklahoma, of course, had some activity out there around the uh, gas and oil wells and some activity around the border here. It's kind of an odd earthquake. It is listed in Texas. Uh, at uh, what is it? 3.5 earthquake at 5.3 kilometers. Looking at uh, regional information and historical earthquake activity does not show much here. That's why I say it's just kind of a little on the odd side uh, when it comes to the uh, location here. But uh, let's go back here and check and see what might be out here on the satellite view of the uh, of the region. I'm, I know there's. I don't know if there's anything specifically along the border here that would be a uh, gas and oil rigged or gas and oil well related, but uh, 3.5 just uh, not for sure exactly what this is down here. But uh, looking at the vicinity of the region, I really I don't really see anything that's uh, I'm not saying there isn't, but uh, there might be some older ones out here. Looks like some that have been erased or tried to be erased when it comes to the uh, oil and gas uh, operations out there. So we'll keep an eye on it for sure. Definitely an odd quake in the uh, Texas region. Looking at, uh, let's get back here to the terrain and get back up here to the Pecos, Texas area. Still seeing some movement just to the northwest there at uh, 2.5 and 3.0 for the magnitudes out there. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Rockies look pretty quiet. This is the all magnitudes, right? Yeah, pretty quiet throughout the Intermountain West regions over the last 24 hours. Northern California uh, still showing that activity off the coast here of the Eureka region with a 2.1. Pretty shallow earthquake here. And we did have one little earthquake here at the uh, Mount Lassen region. This was from earlier this morning, late last night actually. No further subsequent activity following that 1.5, but uh, kind of watching that. Uh, what else we got? Not a whole lot. If you look at Northern California, it's pretty scattered. Uh, eastern part of Sierra Nevada as well. Ridgecrest area, not a whole lot going on. Yes, there is a, a handful of quakes, but mostly microquakes and some movement up here. North of the Garlock Shear Zone, you can kind of see another fault system that kind of runs through here. Uh, southwest to uh, uh, northeast here. You can, I'm starting to wonder if that fault system doesn't really run all the way through. But uh, here on the map, it looks like this uh, uh, southern Sierra Nevada fault zone is where some of this activity is taking place here, at least in that red circle. This activity down here in the Wheeler Ridge region uh, was from this morning. No further activity taking place in that region of the state. Uh, San Jacinto fault zone and the Elsinore fault system looks pretty... Uh, Pretty uh, active, but not uh, super active, I guess. Definitely seen uh, some movement. Nothing really to write home about. If we check the 2.5 map, there's only been a one earthquake up here outside of the Loma Linda area with a 2.7 near the Redlands region. And this uh, earthquake just off the San Andreas Fault Zone. That's this major plate boundary here in the dark red line. Specific fault systems look to be the, uh, uh, looks like the Crafton Hills Fault Zone. Not for sure exactly on that uh, fault system. Crafton Hills. Let's see if we can find uh, the Crafton Hills here on the on this uh, little map here. 
Uh, man. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Just had to look down a little bit. So, looking at the Crafton Hills Fault Zone, it's a uh, normal, question mark, type of fault. Length about 20 kilometers, very small uh, fracture. Uh, zone consists of at least 10 faults, each 10 kilometers or less. Near it by communities, of course. Uh, most recent rupture in the Holocene area. And re uh, error. Let's see here. Not a whole lot on here. Normally, these guys will show the accumulated stress rate. Uh, let's see, above you can see the location of the Crafton Hills Fault Zone caught in a wedge between the San Andreas Fault Zone uh, in the in the uh, red and the San Jacinto Fault Zone in the purple. The Crafton Hills Fault Zone exists because of the actions of these two major faults. The sense of slip for both the San Jacinto and the San Andreas Faults is right lateral. Thus the area between the two near the intersection is being pulled apart. Uh, when this sort of extensional action exists, normal faults typ typically develop, all right? Hmm. So anyway, a uh, little bit of activity there. Uh, striking in that region of the state. Looking at the uh, rest of the area of the state. It looks pretty quiet throughout Oregon, Washington. I'm not for sure what's going on with the trimmer. I haven't checked that out tonight, but we will. Zip. There you go. The big old zero number showing up there on the Cascadia. Uh, Yellowstone. Let's go ahead and check these guys out here while we're monitoring this this activity. Uh, way earlier this morning, we did see some further movement, uh, some some uh, small microquakes popping up here around the Yellowstone Lake area. Since then, not a whole lot going on. Um, looking at the latest map here within the last few hours throughout the day, not not much at all. Uh, this activity earlier this morning, of course, and uh, USGS not uh, USGS definitely not showing that activity in uh, the uh, Yellowstone area. One low earthquake outside of the Sawtooth Fault Zone, uh, 2.1 near Stanley, and also up here in the Hebgen Lake area, 1.1. Uh, Alaska, some activity from this morning, although we haven't seen any further large-scale movement, just this five-pointer that struck out here uh, near Perryville along the Aleutian Trench. And some activity ramping up, of course, through the Anchorage area and up through the Fairbanks, it looks like. At a 4.2 at 108 kilometers. Rest of the Aleutian Trench, pretty quiet, folks. Not a whole lot uh, happening out there throughout the region. And uh, Hawaii, nothing showing up in the red. Did see this activity kick off last night and this morning when the Loihi Seamount sent in. Uh, not a whole lot to chat about. One little earthquake up there around the Mauna Loa region with a 1.8 right smack dab on the uh, crater area, it looks like. Uh, so what else we got here? What else do we have? Let's check out the Earthquakes Canada map here. Been getting a lot of earthquakes in the Mexico region. Well, I'm going to check that out here in, the, in a second. Uh, nothing going on in the Canada, Canada map. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, EMSC model. I want to see what's going on. In the Mexico area, we're getting quite a bit of uh, notifications here from the EMSC on our earthquake app, showing uh, quite the increase in movement here across the uh, uh, across the western coast there of Mexico. Just within the last ooh five minutes or so, I've gotten like fifteen updates. 15 earthquakes coming in there uh, just offshore of Jalisco, Mexico. Uh, let's see if I can see exactly where this is taking place. Of course, on here, kind of hard to tell. It could be the swarming activity that's kicking up. Stand by for one second. See if I can uh, find out exactly where that's at. Hmm. All right. I can't check it out on my phone, but it looks like there's definitely a big swarm. Uh, some type of swarming going on there in the, the uh, all over Mexico, all along the uh, Middle America Trench. Quite a bit of activity kicking up there in the three range. And some movement up here in the Gulf of Alaska as well. Didn't see that on the USGS model. Of course, they're not going to show that, obviously. It uh, doesn't look like they've shown anything. But the uh, uh, definitely there on the EMSC model, some major... 
Uh, some major activity kicking up there. Quite a bit of swarming going on there. What's, what's the UTC time currently? Let me check here real quick. It is, uh, where did we go? Where did we go? Uh, 0112 is UTC time. I don't want to go over there. But uh, there's definitely a lot of activity ramping up. Although on this map doesn't show too much. I'm, I'm wondering why the... Uh, oh, this is only going to show the 4.0 and above on that list there. But uh, definitely a bunch going on there, folks, in the uh, uh, Mexico region, it looks like. We'll watch out pretty closely. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, the USGS doesn't really want to show anything internationally when it comes to uh, anything above the 4.0 threshold. Let's check out the solar weather. While we're on it, uh, some stuff kicking up a little bit around the uh, solar weather department although it looks pretty green a little bit uh, here across the next couple nights except for tonight uh, with a 50 percent chance looks like of a uh, higher latitude storming over the next couple nights so things dying down uh, solar flare flare threat looks pretty minimal for the most part 60 percent chance of sea flare with a uh, 10 percent chance there of an m flare um, from a couple sunspots there facing the Earth's side. Looking at the disk of the sun shows uh, not a whole lot of super awesome development. Looks a little on the scattered side. Let's see here what we got. Although this area right here on the sun, look at that area. Uh, just kind of rotating in a re in the view. This is the area that uh, popped off that pretty large CME a couple days ago. So uh, we'll see how that thing looks when it comes in, in view. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Not for sure what else we got. I think that is about it for the most part. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go back over here real quick. Yeah, a couple areas though, if, you, if you're kind of curious to see where possibly this movement is going, definitely got to watch the Philippines area with that swarming kicking off. Uh, but also, if I can verify the activity kicking off here in the uh, uh, in the Middle America Trench, there's just quite a bit of threes kicking off here. And uh, that could, could be spelling trouble here for the uh, Middle America Trench region. So we will watch a couple areas out there for sure. Hope everyone has a good night. I'm going to jump off here and uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later. Don't forget, uh, live stream is up and running. Petrolia station there showing some activity. Northern California, of course, some earthquake activity, just some small spikes there on the station. But, uh, of course, those guys have been under kind of like a, uh, I don't know. Blackout? Is, is that the correct word I should use? I don't know. It just doesn't seem like uh, there's been too much reporting on the activity that's taken place here on those seismographs. All right, folks. Um, have a good day. Stay safe. Good night. We will chat you guys tomorrow. Of course, Monday is the day. The dreaded M word, unfortunately. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Have a good night, guys. Peace out.